We've been studying for years how to have the best meat quality in the industry, and this helps us kind of continue to study and see if breed and, and other aspects of raising chickens uh, helps us with having the best chicken in the marketplace. We actually put a breeder flock down in, of one of the approved breeds. And you have the opportunity to study for a half a year, uh, which is what we decided to do. We're going to study this, and perhaps it'll be the uh, largest study I know of, at least in North America and maybe the world, where you do side-by-side -side work with the better chicken commitment approved breed versus the commercial breed. So the customers and the animal advocacy groups don't frequently get to talk to farmers. And in this case, we asked the farmers to interact with them and answer their questions honestly. It was great to see how much progress Purdue had made towards the Better Chicken Commitment Standards. It was fantastic to get to see the litter, the stocking density, the lighting, the enrichments all in place. And it was fascinating to see the different chicken breeds and to talk to the farmers who are actually growing these different chicken breeds and hear how that impacts their daily life and quite frankly, their income. We keep them longer. Uh, so I, we normally ship out 34, 36, somewhere in there. With these, uh, I've moved both of mine out at, I think it was 40, 40 days. You're losing four or five days. If you did it over and over again, it would be costly. But the biggest differences as far as the actual bird and even that level of bird that you have, where you have some a little bit smaller, some a little bit bigger, you don't have that. They're very uniform. And I can't say enough about the floor. This bird just does not wet the floor at all like that, that the cause. The thing that surprised me most when I saw the meat that came from the new BCC compliant breed was how thin the breasts were. So of course we knew they were gonna grow slower, but I didn't anticipate the final size to be so thin. In my experience, Purdue has been first, not only to test new processes for raising chickens, but also most willing to talk about the results of those tests and show us as buyers what's worked and what hasn't worked. Customers and consumers expect the best chicken from Purdue. And we know we have to earn that, whether it be feed or breed or, or animal care. And we think that it takes all of those to consistently deliver the best chicken in the marketplace.